chapter 5, verse 21, and he reads, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. First and foremost, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Baharachakwadash, meaning all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, whom is our strength and our Redeemer and our light and our salvation. All right, and with that, Mashana, Kabuadim, Lahasakwanim, Shalagalabarika, meaning double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true shepherds of uh, Israel, pushing the sound doctrine of faith, truth, and sincerity. And Shalom honors salutations to Bayath Shadawada, meaning the house of David, representing the elect of Israel, including the 144,000 governing body and the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel scattered across the four corners. All right. And it's your fellow servant, Malak Rayab, which back at it again. I have another, uh, another video through the spirit of prophecy, being a testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who in the mass of the world ignorantly refers to Jesus Christ. And it's dealing with the, uh, the wicked pagan uh, origin of uh, Memorial Day, all right, which Memorial Day is uh, supposed to represent the commemoration of um, the soldiers that died within the Civil War, okay? Now, before I go ahead and touch into that, I just want to go ahead and, and uh, provide this, uh, you know, provide this, uh, uh, you know, this precedent, you know, regarding this, this uh, introduction I'm going to proceed with to further uncover the wicked uh, uh, pagan roots or origins of uh, Memorial Day going back to um, uh, sun god worship, all right? The constellation of the stars through astrology and stargazing, man, pursuing a Jeremiah the 10th chapter and other precepts. And uh, Lord willing, this is for the edifying and exhorting to the elect. So this is on this article here on Yuletide.com. And the prefix of the word Yuletide is Yule, which goes into occultic uh, practices that the ancient Druids and so-called Puritans were keeping. Or oddly enough, those same devils that were, uh, uh, you know, exercising, you know what I'm saying, their, their uh, theological uh, uh, ideologies, you know what I'm saying, uh, including theological uh, uh, Christianism, all right, you know, Calvinism and so forth, all right, through... Uh, you know, through our reform, all right, you know, and basically enforcing their doctrine on us around, you know, around the, the, the uh, you know, the, the 15th to 20th centuries, man, all right, you know, when, 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 that, when that slavery on behalf of uh, uh, Jacob was that much more, um, you know, that much more severe under the dominion of, of the devil, man, okay, because a Memorial Day is, 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 is to commemorate the bloodshed of Israel going into the, the pagan roots of, uh, uh, human, uh, uh, satanic, uh, human uh, sacrifices to the sun god uh, Nimrod, man. All right, otherwise known as uh, uh, Ra or Baal, dealing with Baal Molech uh, 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 sacrifices by fire, man. All right, so this is, um, so this says here, uh, jumping down to the point here. Okay, it says uh, Memorial Day in the U.S. Memorial Day in the U.S.A.'s real function, of course, is making the start of summer. So it's not a veteran's holiday at all, except highly superficially. Now, the reason why it says that is because uh, that's a, a further reference to uh, the summer solstice that takes place on June 21st. All right. And that's, that's supposed to be the time where the sun is at its highest altitude because that goes into uh, 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 astrology and stargazing. You know, the constant, the worshiping of the constellation of the stars on behalf of these, the, the rulers of the darkness of this world. All right. You know, the wicked elite central banking families. And that's why they, they require around the time of the spring equinox during that time, uh, going into a transition, transitioning over to the summer solstice on June 21st, or around, around June, uh, uh, late June, they require high level blood ritualistic satanic human sacrifices to Satan. And that includes, uh, um, you know, the, the, you know the, the human beings that really consists of is Israel, which I'm gonna go ahead and get into. And that's why around this time, oddly enough, they're bringing out um, the history of uh, the Tulsa, Oklahoma bombing situation, because that's a for to commemorate, you know, that 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 that, that spirit of, of sacrifice, man. All right, to, ch to 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 commemorate it and cherish it, man. All right, is is a, a further way to mock us, you know, throughout our history, you know. So it says here, uh, Memorial Day in the USA's real function, of course, is making the start of summer. So it's not a veterans' holiday at all, except highly superficially. Okay, look at what really happens on Memorial Day in the USA. What people actually do. They get their summer routine started with barbecues, good weather oriented overnight trips. My aunt and cousins were so engaged this year as they often are on Memorial Day weekend. All right, blah, blah, blah. You know, going into those, those similar activities, you know what I'm saying? You know, including barbecues and whatnot. 
because around the time where we, you know, around the times, uh, um, you know, when, when they, when they, uh, you know, around the time of the transatlantic slave trade and beyond that, you know, they, they were, they were, uh, you know, they had us, you know, in the cotton fields, tobacco fields, and, uh, 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 in, and, uh, 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 in the sugar fields, all right, you know, indulging in egregious, uh, 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 slave labor, which was free slave labor, you see, you know, so, so this, you know, so this, this is, uh, you know, so this, this is a, a, a day that is, that's not inclusive to the descendants of Jacob, man, you know, because it was, is uh, uh, the more case in point Memorial Day is to further focus on uh, those who died in the Civil War, but we were all fighting in the Civil War, okay, you know, we, we, we actually, we were actually fighting in these wars, rather, all right, following the Civil War, case in point, we were fighting in uh, the Indian Wars, man, all right, in uh, uh, the year uh, uh, 1866, Okay, following the Civil War. Okay, so so this this war is inclusive to us. So it has nothing to do uh, with the idea of liberty and justice for all. It's it's to it's to further, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, it's, it's for Esau Edom to further exalt himself as God on earth, man. All right, and you know that's why they built those slave monuments like Robert E. Lee and whatnot are still up. You know, for, you know, uh, uh, across the four corners because they haven't they haven't. Uh, you know they 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 haven't destroyed those idols, all right, for for the for the purpose in which it's been spoken about, man. Okay, so so I'm going to get this uh, next precept in the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter seven, uh, Slaki, chapter fifteen. Jumping down to verse seventeen, it reads, "Better is a dinner of herbs, where love is, than a stalled ox and hatred therewith." You see, so this this feast day. All right, of Memorial Day is a, is a wicked feast day of Satan, man, of satanic sacrifice. Okay, you know because uh, um, you know that's that's why they that's why in the, in the time of uh, you know in in, in the time of uh, you know the beginning of chattel slavery, they had a term called pic, uh, picnic, okay, which is basically a prefix of the phrase uh, pick a nigga, you see, because it was a feast uh, to commemorate uh, Satan through human sacrificing. All right, to the sun god, man. And that further uh, 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 uncovers the correlation of the pagan roots of uh, Memorial Day to sun god worship. Okay. So, I'm going to get... Matter of fact, I'm going to pull out some history on that now that I mentioned it. All right, so this is on um, the phoenixenigma.com. And there's a few different accounts around the spring equinox dealing with uh, the constellation, the worship of the constellation of the stars, where there was major events going into fire and blood sacrificing. OK. We're leading up into the summer solstice. OK. Which. You know, which is why uh, goes into why Memorial Day, oddly enough, is on May 30th, which they consider to be uh, the beginning of summer. You see leading up into the summer solstice, you can see all these different uh, um, um, acts. You know what I'm saying? Of, of fire and blood sacrifices, man, within through these major events. You see, including, you know, oddly enough, let me jump down here a little bit, uh, Oklahoma City bombing. Okay, once again, fire and death on this day. And that's through the spirit because that goes back to uh, the spirit. The vibration of that goes back to the Tulsa, the, the 1921 uh, Oklahoma, uh, in this case, 1921 Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, uh, um, Black Wall Street attack on behalf of them eating my supremacists man okay that has been further revealed which has caused people to wonder why such a major event back in 1921 was uh hasn't been spoken about because uh jeremiah 49 and 10 is coming to coming to fruition man where it says how esau eden will be uh, uh further revealed you know roughly paraphrasing especially within these last days these perilous times we're living in because these last few prophecies come to pass and that's why these devils are moving more frantically and sporadically to uh, um, establish a satanic new world order agenda because they know their their inner works of darkness of their secret council of, of, of uh, wickedness is being exposed, man. Like it says in Isaiah the 29th chapter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Psalm chapter 64, um, verse 20, I believe it is, dealing with the throne of iniquity, and especially Ephesians the 6th chapter, dealing with the, uh, the, the the rulers of the darkness of this world, the wicked elite, you see? So um, I'm going to get Go ahead and get 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 a uh, 
some information on uh, the Civil War, all right, tying everything in together. So it says American Civil War uh, on May 9th, 1865, also known by other names, was a civil war in the, the United States fought between Northern and Pacific states, okay? Okay, which, which, which uh, the, 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 the North represented the Union, okay? The so-called blue coats. All right, so it says here, so the American Civil War from April 12th, 1861 to May 9th, 1865, also known by other names, was a civil war in the United States fought between Northern and Pacific states, the Union or the North, and Southern states. Okay, and them Southern states was uh, those Confederates, man, them, 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 uh, um, you know, them, 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 uh, them, the Confederates that supported the, um, the, the, the old, uh, chattel, uh, uh, form of slavery. See, that's why it says here from the top, the American Civil War from eight, uh, April 12th, 1861 to May 9th, 1865, also known by other names, was a civil war in the U.S. fought between northern and Pacific states, otherwise known as the Union, and southern states that voted to succeed and form the Confederate States of America. The central cause of the war, now here's, here's a point of this passage here, where it says the central cause of the war was the status of slavery, okay, sacrifice, okay, bloodshed. That's 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 the that's the vibration of Memorial Day, man. Okay, oppression, affliction. That's why in Psalm seventy three and eight, that Fred goes into why in that scripture says uh, they are corrupt and speak loftily concerning oppression. You see, because this day is is a is a Fred to commemorate uh, uh, the the uh, the oppression, affliction of Jake. All right, to further reverence uh, the spiritual demon Satan through uh, 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 pagan uh, occultic. Uh, practices such as uh you know blood ritualistic human sacrifices to the sun god man and that's why uh uh memorial day is 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 uh kept on on um towards the end of may you know and leading into the to, to the summer solstice man okay so this uh so says uh, the central cause of the war was the status of slavery especially the expansion of slavery into newly acquired land after the mexican american war so you know, that's a further fulfillment of Deuteronomy 19 and 14 and Micah, the second chapter, where they were to, these devils were prophesied to invade lands and usurp their authority through their um, their God complex predicated off of Edomite supremacy, that, that so-called uh, divine will or manifest destiny, man. You see that? You know, so, uh, you know, so, you know, their, 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 their uh, wickedness is being further uncovered in these last days, man. You know, so that's all I was going to get on that. Go ahead and end it off with a few uh, pre's. Uh, a few more precepts and, and uh, close this thing on out. Okay. So I'm going to get Sirach chapter 12, verse 16. All right. Give me one second, Baba Gashah. Uh, all right. Sirach. So I'm going to get Sirach chapter uh, 12, a book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach chapter 12. And I'm going to get verse 16. And it reads. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. You see? So they, they you know, through their, you know, they, they uh, you know, so, so what the, what the self-proclaimed white man it, uh, actually does, Esau, Edom, the devil the Bible speaks of, tends to do is present himself like an angel, like it says in 2 Corinthians 11 chapter. Okay. As as if he's a as a, as if he is is a bringer of peace through his um, westernized philosophy, and, and you know, and, and, and a branch of that is um, the liberty and justice for all theme of America, to imply to the to the world that you know peace and safety and security is offered to everyone who um, you know who who do, who does not oppose the 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 uh, the Western uh, philosophy of America, Babylon the Great, you know. But even if you don't oppose it, you're still an enemy because they uh, uh 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 they don't they don't have any regard for life you see that's why the wicked elite refer to us as goyim bottomless cattle you know Cause they they study they, they study psychology and they know the minds of uh of 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 uh mankind they know how people operate you see so you know they 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 uh, present themselves you know as as if, as if they uh uh you know represent one's interests and well-being through their philosophy, you know what I'm saying, supported by their uh, 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 or more decrees and policies, okay. 
but they hide war in their tongues, man. That's why, you know, uh, this whole satanic New World Order agenda, you know what I'm saying, is for the purpose of collapsing the governments and suspending, the, you know, uh, and collapsing the economies, rather, and suspending the governments. But they claim like, it's, uh, like they're doing the complete opposite, it's, you know, to help people. You're not helping people by carrying out the satanic New World Order agenda. So in the case of the bloodshed aspect of this prophecy, you know, they, uh, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they get a kick off of the bloodshed of uh, Israel, like it's, it's prophesied in Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. You see, which I bring it out, Lord willing, before I close, you know what I'm saying, this, 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 uh, this segment, you know what I'm saying, because going back to Amos 111, it says that Esau Eden was to uh, uh, have perpetual hatred towards Jacob forever. And that's the real reason why uh, racial segregation still exists, okay? So-called race, racial prejudice and profiling, okay? Through their, through their moral decrees and policies they use to further justify their 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 uh you know their their carnal uh uh, uh you know and, and witchcraft approach to uh you know to to uh, afflict and, and uh oppress the nation of Israel. You see? You know, so going to you know that's why, you know, ar around this time there's a lot of bloodshed continuing to happen in amongst the uh the people of uh Jerusalem, you know, including these uh these these shootings. That's why there was a shooting today or, or yesterday, okay. Uh, down there in the Miami uh, uh, festivity, man, okay, resulting in two fatalities because there's a lot of fire sacrifices, once again, fire and blood sacrifices that are offered, that are required, rather, around this time by the wicked elite, man, okay? So see me, I can go ahead and pull up some information on that real quick. Okay. Let me see. You see that? Another shooting. Another fire sacrifice on Memorial Day. Okay. Mother shot at 23 times at, a, at an Ohio mall. Here we go. Well, that's, that's another shooting. Another, another fire sacrifice. Fire and blood sacrifice on another pagan day that requires it. Two dead, two injured after man opens fire in Houston nightclub. You see that? You see? A hundred bullets fired in mass shooting that left two dead, 20 hurt at birthday bash. I believe this is the one I was talking about. Down there in, uh, what was that? Florida? In Miami, Con. See that? See, it's not a coincidence these fire, these fire and blood sacrifices take place around these pagan holidays that so happen to predominantly take place within these, um, these seasonal uh, changes, man. Okay, the winter, sol the, the winter solstice, spring equinox, and summer solstice. Okay, you know, high level periods of uh, blood ritualistic, uh, you know, uh, uh, satanic human sacrifices to Satan, which are required sacrifices. Okay, going to the correlation of sun god worship and um memorial day okay so i'm going to get uh salakia for that salakia all right this is the book of joel chapter 2 jump down to verse 31 all right and it reads the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the lord yahweh come so through these do these end signs okay you know, we utilize these end signs, especially in the heavens, including these blood moons, um, including the most recent one that that took place on um, uh, early Wednesday morning on uh, March 26th. You know, and these other uh, uh, end signs in heaven, including um, the 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 new the uh, the up and coming lunar eclipse. In this case, the up and coming eclipse that's going to take place on June 10th. You see, oddly enough. Around the time of the summer solstice, all right, because we understand these are times of uh, of great despair, great distress, great perplexity. Like it says in Saint Luke the twenty first chapter, great oppression, great affliction, mayhem, misery, destruction, and death. Okay, you know, by way of these end signs in the heavens, because the Lord is ultimately going to bring fire and blood on the earth. He's going to bring fire on the earth that's going to result in mass bloodshed, like it's prophesied in Isaiah the sixty six chapter. But what these devils do. Is they use these uh, end signs in the heavens, these 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 uh, stars in the heavens, to to worship the constellation of these stars through astrology and stargazing, man, going into uh, to uh, satanic required uh, 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 high satanic blood ritualistic human sacrifices, man. And that's why they, they, a lot of these sacrifices uh, is required uh, on behalf of of Jacob or you so-called Black Hispanic and Native American Indians. That's why the majority of the victims of these shootings are those people I just mentioned, man, Israelites. You see? So that's why I hear in Jeremiah chapter uh, 32. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. 
Hear ye the word which Yahweh is speaking to you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed, and, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So they, because they worship the constellation of the stars. Okay. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh, for one cut of the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, and going into the the pagan, uh, um, you know, history of so-called Christmas. You know, cutting down the, the the tree, you know, and decking it with ornaments. Okay, which that that tree represents the phallus of Nimrod, man. Going into a uh, Baal Molech uh, worship of the sun. Okay, which 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 is done by way of human sacrificing, man. You see, and and so that that further uncovers the wicked pagan vibration of satan throughout all these religions and uh pagan holidays man okay including memorial day which which uh i'm still within at this point so jumping over to the next precept jeremiah chapter 32 verse 35 and it reads and they built the high places of baal which are in the valley of the son of hinnom to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire into molech and that's what these people were doing today through these uh barbecues and whatnot they were sacrificing themselves to molech man in a spiritual sense OK, um, including uh, Jake, you know, Jake likes to party. You see, our people like to party, man. You see, we're the most vibrant people on the planet. And we like to get it in and have a good time. So our people were ignorantly, you know, whether unknown, you know, uh, 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 you know, unknownly or knowingly, OK, indulging themselves, you know, within these these wicked pagan uh, uh, cultic practices, man, firing up the grill, firing up these wicked, abominable, uh, 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 you know, you know, indulging rather in these wicked, abominable feasts, you know, through these fire sacrifices such as barbecuing, mentioning that um, that Yule uh, uh, article, you know, of, of the uh, pagan origin of Memorial Day, you know, to Satan, you know. Because this devil knows uh, the more we indulge and, in, in, you know, stay conformed to this world, the further away we, we stay withdrawn from our power source. Yahweh by Shimei Arshai. Okay. And that's what these devils want. Jeremiah 32 and 35, and they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire into Molech, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Okay. And now, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, the God of Israel, concerning the city, whereof ye say, it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. You see. So because of these pagan uh, 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 practices, we were keeping our homeland prophesied in Jeremiah five and time, uh, Jeremiah chapter five, verse 19. The Most High Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, you know, scattered us across the four corners, mainly within uh, Babylon the Great, the place of drawing waters, America, so we could serve these strange nations and their strange gods. OK. Including Molech and a land that, 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 that we would be unfamiliar with. And that's America, Babylon the Great, through these uh, uh, various pagan uh, uh, uh Holidays, man, you see, because yeah, that modern day king of Babylon that, that has us still indoctrinated to keep these practices, you know, is, uh, you know, Esau either, man. OK, prophesied in Isaiah 14 and 6, man. OK, is that 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 wicked ruler, you know, to that was to keep, you know, uh, uh, you know, perpetual hatred over the nations he would rule. OK, with that continuous stroke of his blessing, the sword, because he was he has been known to enforce his 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 uh, satanic doctrines. On the world, mainly Israel, okay. So that's this 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 prophecy for to identify us who we are, okay? Because the only demographic uh, demographic of people that's most vulnerable, you know, to to uh, to this witchcraft is Jacob, okay? The people with no military, the people with no uh, government, no rulership, no camaraderie within their homes, you know. Yet the most powerful and vibrant people on the planet, but they're under the curses, man. Our people, you see, mainly within America, Babylon the Great, you know, indulging this madness, you see. So I'm going to end this off in Nahum. Okay, Nahum chapter three. Uh, all right. Start at verse one. Woe to the bloody city! It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. The prey is Jacob, because we need to be scattered across the four corners, mainly within America, Babylon the Great, pursuant to Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-eight, and to modern-day Egypt, which is America, the house of bondage. Okay. Verse four, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. And that's America. Behold, I'm against thee, said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face and I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Because in Ezekiel 28 and 7, 
it, it, uh, it prophesies how these nations would defy the brightness of America. That is her sensual, devilish, uh, perceived wisdom. Okay? That's why in Proverbs 13 and 9 it says, A lamp of the wicked shall be put out. You see? Because that's that, 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 uh, that, this, this modern day universal standard of, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, dominion and, and, and beauty, you know, is, is being compromised because it was all wicked the whole time. Okay? You know, because, because when, uh, because the earth was given to the hands of the wicked, who does not have the means of righteous rulership because he is not a righteous, uh, 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 people. He is not of, of a righteous people. These Edomites, Persina Proverbs 29 and 2. Okay? Nahum 3 and 6. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. Okay? Jump down to verse 19. There is no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. All that hear the brute of thee shall clap their hands over thee. For upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually? You see? So there's no healing Babylon the Great, like it says in Jeremiah uh, 15 7, I believe it is. Okay? Or Jeremiah 51 and 7, one of those two chapters. You see? You know, so 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 uh, when this place falls, man, nobody's going to be lamenting for this place because they miss it. You know, uh, sincerely, you know, we're, well, the nations, rather, are not going to be in that spirit. They're going to be lamenting for this place because they're, 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 no, they're no longer going to be able to make money off of this place through international trade and whatnot. Prophesied in Revelation, you see, you know, but yet, but yet, and still, the people that will be that stay conformed to this world, they're going to suffer the same fate of Babylon the Great because uh, she's the most dreadful and terrible empire to ever exist, man. Because you know, due to her sins reaching the heavens, and that's why America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed. Okay, being the host of every unclean spirit on the earth, man, including idolatry through these these pagan holidays, man. Okay, so when the Lord returns to angels, he's going to he's going to unleash fire upon this place and destroy this place, man, and deliver his elect. So having all that's been said, call Halagim Yahweh Bahashem, Hamashak Abashai, Bahak Wadash. All right. Forgive me the spirit to do this video, which I pray was for the edifying and exhorting to your elect. And uh Abad the Ball, DTA, Kwame Ash All right. Uh all right, and Shalom uh to the elect. All right. Scattered across the four corners, whose names are written in the book. All right, on to the next one.